Right, because I was I was talking to Eric uh, last week uh, after you had left the call, and uh, we were talking about he was he was teaching me a bit about the the new you and like awareness and stuff, and uh, he was talking about uh, like the sun shining. Right, I, I went out and tried to look at the sun like he suggested, and like I think I understand, or I'm starting to at least. So is is that sort of what you mean, like the sun and the birds and whatnot? Well, you're going to hear many references and metaphors that refer to something, okay? So it's like, uh, you know, I don't know what, what kind of car you drive, but it's when a you... 2011 Nissan Altima. Okay, it's a Nissan Altima. Okay, so when you see a commercial on TV about Nissan, that's a reference in a way to the car you drive you see that but it's not the car itself is it so when you're watching the commercial and you see the car driving or whatever and it's a nissan well it's like wow i have a nissan yeah you you have a nissan so that commercial i have a nissan to that. it refers to that but it's not the actual car itself you see, it's a reference. So what I've created is references because the true reality life is, is awareness. And it takes a lot to recognize that. A lot of little steps, just like when you were young, Dwayne, when you were a little guy, a little, little tiny guy, okay? And you were wiggling around and you couldn't even walk. And then eventually you started to walk and little by little, Okay, you started to make noises and blurbs and all kinds of things and drool on yourself and then played with blocks and all kinds of things. As you went through the steps, you finally got to where you are, to where you can talk and relate to everybody else. But it took you a while to do that, didn't it? You didn't do it right away. It's taken you a while to do it. You see? Right, right. Yeah, yeah now. There's a lot of practice. Yeah, you had to, and you're still practicing, you're still creating something, okay, to better understand what you're doing or your job or your career or your hobbies or whatever it is or your relationships, you're still doing things. Now, what I'm presenting and showing people is how to get beyond the restrictions of creation. Now, this is a huge journey. And you can't even imagine how you're going to go through this. So you go through it a step at a time, just like you did growing up. Because you go back, imagine yourself in your life. Look at your life when you're a little guy. No way could you imagine what you're going to go through to get to where you are now. There's no way. You never imagined that. But you had to go through it moment by moment by moment. And now here you are. And look, a snap of the fingers, and here you are right now, whatever age you are, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever, it's gone. It's that fast. And the next 10, 20, 30 years, it's going to be a snap of the fingers again. It's going to be gone. And the world is going to change, and it's getting worse. Get ready. I'm showing you how to prepare for the get worse part because it's coming up. Right. I, I appreciate that, man. You're doing, uh, doing some great work here. And um, yeah. excited to be a part of it. It makes sense. But a lot of people don't want to listen because, see, this is the, most of the social structure people have been. Uh, most, of the, most of the people that are with the social structure in some way uh, are, are robotized according to the system. So they have been taught, especially the ones that go through high school and into college and into professions, whatever, you have been taught, the further you go through and get doctrines and all these things, and especially up into doctors and lawyers and things like this and politicians, you have been taught to become the know-it-all. Oh, gee, there's nothing you don't know because you have all these degrees, you've gone through all this stuff, especially lawyers and doctors. Oh, we're, we're the smart guys. We know everything. You see, and the thing is, you actually know nothing. You only know what the system. Quite a lot about World of Warcraft, though. But the system controllers have created for you to do in this big bubble. That's all you know, 
you just know bubble. You know, you know bubble knowledge. That's all. You got all this stuff from others that created it. You didn't create it. If you're going to become a lawyer, uh, uh, it, it won't be bubble knowledge though, because like I'm, I'm trying to go pro. I'm trying to get to the to the mythic nationals next year. I mean, I think you might be able to do it. It's all made up, like the gaming world that Eric sent or whatever. Somebody else made it. You're just playing the game. You're playing the game that someone else made. So they're controlling you because you're playing their game. And that's how it is in creation now. See, when you go back, when you look at the indigenous people, they didn't do this. They weren't playing games. It was about survival and becoming more aware with the all-natural environment. Today, that doesn't exist. You're playing their game because you have their indoctrinated knowledge from school. So you go out and you play their game. In other words, you go to high school, then your parents tell you, go find a job. So you're playing their I get game. I told that a lot, unfortunately. Yeah, you're playing their game. And so were your parents. They taught you to play their game because they didn't know any better. And so you are what you're doing is is that you are like an actor rehearsing for your future lifetimes and you don't know that you keep projecting into a future and as long as you do that you keep creating a future and then all of a sudden your physical body can die but your projections still exist with your awareness and so you go into those projections and you don't know where you are and then you come back into a future lifetime and you, it's like, okay, where am I? The thing is, you don't know why you're here just like this lifetime, because your previous lifetimes, you projected yourself into this lifetime. But you don't know that yet because they haven't told you, because they don't want to tell you. They want you to keep projecting into future lifetimes so they can continue to control you. That's a lot, I know. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot to take in, man. I hope I'm like... Oh. <sighs> shoot I, I don't know how to how to process this bro like I, I hope like who if the controllers are are controlling me i hope i'm like their main and not one of their alts because like i don't want to i don't want to like grind for them for the rest of my life if i'm an alt that that would be it's too uh, late there it's you're too late lined. yeah you're it's a tap so line uh, yeah yeah yeah, it's called half lighting. And the thing being is that uh, a good example is in the Matrix movie with Keno Reeves. Uh, there's that part called uh, Keno Reeves. Yeah, yeah Keno I, Reeves. I really like him. Well, I'm just giving you an example, and you can go on YouTube. You can see the little five minute portion of when he uh, takes the pill after he takes the red pill or the blue pill, he takes the pill. And all of a sudden, he starts to wake up, and he starts to see what's going on. Well, in his back are all these tubes that are pulled out. That's what you have in your other bodies that you don't see. You have all these tubes that control you. And so, again, you've been mind-framed to stay in this one-dimensional arena, uh, but you don't know it. You just think Even you if can I'm... think anything, and you're a free thinker, but you're actually – programmed to the systems here and you will stay programmed until you decide to set yourself free of this even if i'm already based in red pill though does that not matter that's a metaphor all that's a metaphor the, the thing is is that you're already oh, there fuck, man you're already there yeah basically everybody is. you're already there because like i know like I, I, I like frequent this uh this these threads a lot and like they always talk about how Kino Reeves is based in red pilled and like I'll try really hard to be like him. Well, that's not the idea. Remember he's an actor acting and so again, uh, you know, look at uh well you weren't around but the era of Madonna, Elvis Presley, the Beatles, whatever, a lot of people tried to imitate them and the thing is that people are programmed to uh, follow this stuff in a particular way and they don't realize that the vibrations of the music are controlled so that people react a certain way and become obsessed and embedded with a bunch of nonsense ideas that confuse and distract them into future lifetimes i'm trying to show you and others that you know you can get through this or you you know you have free will you can stay in it 
and keep dealing with it. And eventually it all shows up because you are in cause and effect creation and everything implodes upon itself. It must cause and effect. This is where nothing can be resolved in creation. It's a fallacy because it's cause and effect. It's set up that way, you see, because this is where you're agitated purposely to wake up. It's a purposely set up agitation to wake you up, but you don't know that. And so I'm letting you know this is how it is, and you can get through it while you're here. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, I'll get, I'll get through it. You can get through it, and like I've told Eric and Phil, 50 years. 